Hey everybody, or should I say, sup birch? <laughs> yep, just stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. Before I start today's video, if you like it, make sure you subscribe and click that notifications bell so you see when future videos are posted. But, so, yeah, yeah it was a little bit cringy at the beginning, it was, whatever. But I got the Lone Birch, uh, and I read the back of the bottle because something told me I should, and I'm glad I did because this is insanely depressing. Our family's been farming in Yakima Valley for four generations. With the love of the land, our great-grandfather planted birch trees throughout the property. Over time, the trees disappeared with the exception of one lone birch, which continues to stand guard over our vineyard. The tree ties us to our past and inspires us to care for the land for many generations to come. Oh my god, that's depressing. Seriously, like, that's the most depressing wine bottle that I've, I've read in a really long time. On that note, let's review the 2017 Lone Birch Pinot Gris from Yakima Valley, Washington. 13.3% alcohol by volume, and I paid $12 for it at my local HB. First of all, screw top, plus one. Yeah, I, I get over bad news pretty quickly, unless it's my dog. Then, yeah, whatever. So, from a color standpoint, lemon green. Yeah, pale lemon green. No artifacts, no cloudiness. Now on the nose. Not what I expected. And you saw so many chins right there, probably. So, I'm getting apple, orange blossom. This is confusing me. I'm getting like... I mean, it smells like... So, I, I have a vegetable garden in the back of my house. And it smells like my vegetable garden's leaves. Like, like zucchini squash, spinach, all sorts of stuff. Just that general green growing aromatic that's what i'm getting out of this yeah so and then and i'm getting some green apple and a little bit of pear so green apple pear a little bit of orange blossom and that sort of green note overall from a taste it actually has a pretty good amount of acid medium high acid it has um a really distinctive flavor really distinctive flavor this 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 has a medium plus body it has medium plus acid it has this really good like just rounded apple and and pear note and then going into the mid palette into the finish is when that orange blossom comes in and it's really nice that greenness that i'm smelling i'm not really getting it too much on the palette whatsoever If I had to say it's anywhere, it maybe ties into the finish a tiny bit, but then it goes away. I'll be honest, this is probably one of the best Pinot Gris or Pinot Grigios I've had in a really long time. It's got a medium finish. It's, this is a Pinot Gris that I feel like actually holds its own. A lot of them I feel like are kind of like wimpy, but not this one. So, let's go through the assessment. Balance. Well, I mean, you have a good body, you have a good amount of alcohol, you have a good amount of fruit, and you have a good amount of acid. I can't complain. Length, medium on the length. That's that's pretty damn good for a Pinot Gris on my end. So I'll give you half a point there because I still reserve that for long finishes. Intensity, the fruit has good intensity, the acid has good intensity, and I really can't complain about anything else. So I'll give you a check there. Complexity. I am getting a handful of clusters, not too many, so I'm only gonna give you half a point there. So I'm gonna give you a very good. I'm, I'm, this might be my go-to Pinot Gris going forward. I'm, I'm very impressed by this. If you had a little bit more length and a little bit more complexity, then I would probably give you a great. I, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that I just randomly picked this out at the store and I'm enjoying it so much. So, um, if you need a good recommendation, this is it. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Lone Birch Pinot Gris? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, I'm gonna go populate an entire list of Washington Pinot Gris that I need to be trying because apparently I've been buying the wrong area. I'll see you later.